Hi guys. So essentially, I'm just trying to uh, uh, bolt through these. However, I feel like this one deserves a bit more talking. So I'm just gonna. I don't know. This is the Olivia Rodrigo album, her debut, Sour. And I didn't think I'd like this. Because the singles. The, we start out with Driver's License, right? Which is one of the biggest songs of 2021, if not one of the biggest songs ever. And it's not bad. After going back to it and getting away from that overplay, it's actually quite a good piano ballad that sort of evolves. Uh, then you got Deja Vu, which I hate with all my life. I would rather get my eyes gouged out, quite honestly. But then you have Good For You, which is good. However, I feel like we need to talk about the fact that this is a blatant ripoff of Misery Business. No? No one? Whatever. Uh, I have this little inside joke with my mom that this song is Misery Business, but better. Like, it's... It's just a song. Like, it's... Good For You, I don't hate. In fact, I quite enjoy it. In fact, it's one of the best songs on the album. However, I wasn't sure what to think coming into this album, because the singles are all vastly different from each other. Good For You is a pop-punk song, uh, D Driver's License is a piano ballad, and Deja Vu is more of a poppy-type song. They all meet very different areas. However, this album also does the same thing. It sort of jumps around from genre to genre, and it falls into the same issue that I think maybe that 21 Pilots album falls into, is that while the highs are very high, the media, the low of the highs, as on the Water Parks album, are still good. On the 20, on 21 Pilots album and on this, they're just not interesting. They graze by without having enough bad in them to make them bad songs, but they're just meh. And it falls into that same issue. I don't like the fact that one step forward and three steps back is right after Driver's License. Because Driver's License is a very good piano ballad. Because it evolves. It goes from something... It takes the piano ballad and it makes it better. One step forward, three steps back is just a piano. There's nothing changing. It's just a piano. And the lyrics aren't that good either, mind you. But, I mean, I don't hate this, I guess. Well, I do actually hate the song, but I don't hate the album. I think the lows are terrible, and I don't want to hear them ever again. The highs, though? Oh, the highs. I think the best song on this album is The Closer, Hope You're Okay. Uh, it's a good... Olivia knows how to make a good piano ballad. She just doesn't half the time. She knows how to make some good pop songs. She know she knows how to do good pop punk. I think Brutal and Traitor, the two opening tracks, are some of the best tracks on the album. Uh, Traitor is like this feeling of yeah, you didn't cheat, but you found her right after we broke up. It didn't. It's jealousy over the fact that the other person did wasn't hurt enough to like wallow they got back out there without having issues and brutal is like recognizing that teenage life while some people say it, enjoy the olden the golden years it sucks sure the good things happen but they're very spaced out and that's sort of how i feel on this album except with backwards the bad things happen they're very spaced out one Step Forward, Three Steps Back is the first bad track. Deja Vu, however, right after it. Yeah. Enough For You. This sounds like a, a Greatest Show, a Greatest Showman uh, reject for the reimagined thing. And Favorite Crime is just... I don't want to listen to that. Please, don't make me. Jealousy Jealousy, though. That's a solid track. I'm thinking this album, I thoroughly enjoy tracks on this album, but as a whole, it sort of falls in this pigeonhole of uh, wanting to do too many things, 
at once and not having the capacity to be able to. So I think I'm feeling a decent to a strong six on this. I mean, my opinion could change by the time list season comes around, but I doubt it will. This will probably, if anything, it'll go up to a seven, which isn't enough to keep it back, to keep scaled and icy back from it. <laughs> but yeah, this, not bad, but barely good. Thank you, uh, my Revenge of Hobo Johnson review is coming out, and also the quickie, so stay tuned for that. Peace.